Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and this is the channel where I talk all things toys and dolls. We're back with another Monster High doll line ranking. Today we are doing Shriek Wrecked, which I think is honestly probably my favorite G2 line. Like, I normally hate G2 doll lines, and I do kind of hate some of these dolls, but overall, the line is pretty good for it being G2. So, let's dive in. Eighth place goes to Gil. I do like this Gil. I think I rated him my favorite Gil, actually. If I didn't, I feel that way now. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's still a Gil doll, so he's still going to be last. But I do like him. I like his swim shorts a lot. I think they're really cute. And the shirt's also cute. And the shoes are whatever. But overall, he's a pretty good manster. He's just, I don't know, not as good as the other ones. But I do like him. Next is Claudine. I don't really love G2 Claudine's face ever, but it's not horrible. Honestly, she's just as slow because with her outfit compared to the rest of the outfits in this line, it's just so underwhelming. It's not bad. It's still cute. And I do really like the purse. But compared to the rest of the dolls in this line, like some of the dolls are too over the top. She's not. She's very underwhelming. These shoes, though, are amazing. I really like them. Sixth place goes to Galliope. I adore the ship on her head. I think it's so cute. I do not like her hair at all. I don't think this blue is flattering. It's very like reminiscent to a Maya Rain, which I know this obviously came well before a Maya Rain, but that's the vibe her hair is giving me right now. And the outfit is just kind of okay. I, this is what I meant by it's kind of over the top. Like the patterns just definitely do not go together. <laughs> Separately, I like both pieces, the top and the skirt, but not together. The shoes are really, really cute and I adore her purse, but yeah. She's okay. Next up is Draculaura. I love her hair and her headpiece. I think it's so much fun. This outfit is so, so cute. I hate the molded on gloves, but the shirt and the skirt are adorable. I love the boots, or not boots, she's wearing shoes. Is she wearing boots? I don't remember. No, the shoes. <laughs> I love the shoes and the socks. I adore everything about this doll except her face. <laughs> You guys already know my disdain for G2 Dracula face, so I'm not going to like go into it, but if this doll had a better face, she would be so much higher on my list because I love every other aspect of her. Fourth place goes to Katrine. I think she's pretty cute. I like her hair. I like her face. It's really soft and pretty, and I like the headpiece. The dress is cute. It's nothing like mind-blowing, but it is really cute. It reminds me of like a tattoo sketchbook is the vibe it gives me, like an old Americana style tattoo sketchbook. That's the vibe I get. <laughs> and also her shoes are really cute. So she's nothing like insanely mind blowing, but she is really cute. Third place goes to Dana. Uh, this is a new character in the line and I put two pictures of her because it's the same dress. This dress is actually reversible. So the blue side is like the full dress and then you can like turn it around and make it like a skirt. I really don't remember how to do it. I never do it, honestly. I just leave it in the black and gold version. <laughs> but the black top is molded on because, again, it's like a two-piece thing. But I do like the dress a lot. I think it's really pretty in both situations. I just hate the molded on top, which is why she's down to third. But facially, this doll is absolutely stunning. I love the headpiece. The shoes are cute. I would have loved to see more of this character like with better outfits because she's super, super beautiful. Second place goes to Rochelle. The amount of detail that's in this doll is insane. She's so good. I love this hat. The eye patch is fun. I don't really care for the scarf, but it's not bad. The top is really pretty. I love this belt so, so much. It's so cute. This purse is adorable. I love the skirt so much. Her shoes are definitely my favorite part because they're absolutely gorgeous. But honestly, she's in second place just because it might be almost like too much. Like, I, I have trouble figuring out where I want to look when I look at this doll because there's a lot going on. But I do love every aspect of what's going on, minus the scarf. <laughs> I think she's absolutely beautiful, and I really like this doll for it being a G2 doll. She's amazing. And first place goes to Laguna. Probably no surprise. I adore G2 Laguna. Um, I think her hair is really cute in the pigtails. I don't think I've ever seen Laguna in pigtails like this. I don't think so, but it's really cute. I love the headpiece. The earrings are cute. The scarf, again, I could do without, but I don't hate this one. I love this shirt so much. It's so cute. It's so simple, but so adorable. And I really like the like suspender belt thing that she has on. And these shorts are so, so good. I adore these shorts so much. 
I really, I, I just really like them. <laughs> and then the shoes are also really cute with the socks. I think they look amazing. This is what I mean by there's a lot going on, but not too much to the point like with Rochelle where I don't know where to look. Like this is like the right amount for this line. And I love her. Again, for a G2 doll, she's amazing. Like she could definitely beat out several G1 dolls in my opinion. So I'm a fan. <laughs> but that is my ranking for Shriek Rex. Let me know yours down below. Don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.